Welcome back to day two of Real Estate Family Feud. Once again, I'm your host, Lauren Kime, and we're here with our champions, the Gold Coat Family. And their challengers today are the Kool-Aid Wannabe Family. This is a special episode of Real Estate Family Feud. It's an all-female feud today, and to celebrate our all-female cast, I'm joined by a co-host, Tinkerbell. It's great to be here, Lauren. I saw your last episode with Batman, and I love Batman. Somehow, I think you're a little too small to be dating Batman. You'd be surprised what I can do with a little pixie dust. So, Tink, would you like to introduce today's first question? I'd love to. Today's question is about how realtors get homes sold for their clients. So with the top six answers on the board, the question is, name the top six methods realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes. And this time, we're starting with the Kool-Aid wannabe family. Contestant number one, Bellatrix Lestrange. It's good to meet you, I think. <laughs> I'm here to win, Muggle. I work for the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord. Ah, multi-level marketing. I understand. Don't toy with me, Muggle. I'll use the Avocadavra curse on you. Have no fear, Lorne. You are under a spell of my protection. <laughs> You're not even a real witch. You went to witch school somewhere over the rainbow. Careful, Bellatrex, or someone may drop a house on you. <laughs> okay, ladies. Bellatrix. Top six answers are still on the board. Can you name one of the top six methods that realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes? Well, we advertise that we'll sell your home in 37 days. <laughs> or we'll buy it. That gets us in the door past any other spells. And the survey says... <laughs> I'm sorry, Bellatrix. I'm sure people do fall for the line that you'll buy their house if it doesn't sell right away. But you and I both know that's just a way in the door. And most realtors buying homes make offers somewhere between 60 and 65% of what the market value really is. Let me be honest, Bellatrix. If someone wants to sell their home at 65 cents on a dollar, I'll buy them all day long. Seriously, call me. But we're not interested in just getting in the door. We're interested in helping homeowners to get their homes sold fast and for the most money possible. So it's on to our next contestant. It's nice to meet you, Melisandre. The night is dark and full of terrors. Okay, uh, it says here that you work for the Lord of Light. Uh, can you tell me about that? It's a lot of looking into a flame. A flame? Yes, I like fire. It helps me look into the future and find a lot of good listings. Melisandre, let me be honest. You scare the crap out of me. The Lord of Light foretold your fear. He spoke of a great battle and a surprise guest. Yes, well, and the question is, of course, can you name one of the top six methods that realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes? Hold on. I see the traditional methods work best. Homes magazines and print advertising will attract buyers. Well, our survey says... I am so sorry. No, it cannot be. The Lord of Light is never wrong. I'm sorry, that is the wrong answer. <laughs> well, he was wrong the first time, Fire Lady. Why don't you just follow me to the Dark Lord? <laughs> Tell me more about the Dark Lord. While there are still Homes magazines being published, they attract very few potential clients. Lauren, can I introduce our next contestant? Oh, absolutely, Tink. Take it away. Now, our next contestant is the great Cindy Lauper. How did you end up here with Bellatrix and Melisandre? Like, I thought this was the side with the craziest hair, but it looks like it's the side with the craziest people. And it doesn't matter which side I'm on. On my darkest days, I wear my brightest colors. You'll see my true colors shining through. I'm sure you're a great person who got mixed up with the crowd drinking the wrong Kool-Aid, Cindy. I love your music. Thanks, Tink. I'm easygoing. I just go with the flow. Did you say let it snow? 
No, I like go with the flow. I put the listing out there like on the MLS and put a sign up and relax. I mean, be honest. If you price it right, a home will sell. I'm not sure I understand your answer. I'm answering that we just have to like put up a sign. I don't have time to do all that marketing stuff. I mean, girls just want to have fun. You know, girls just want to have fun. Well, let's see what our survey says. <coughs> I'm sorry, Cindy. A for sale sign is a critical component to getting a property sold, but it's not one of the unique ways that realtors really push a property out there. That is a ridiculous answer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Please calm down, ladies. Now, since the Kool-Aid wannabes got three wrong in a row, it's time for the gold coats to steal. So, Glinda, you're working in real estate now with Century 21 Kime in eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey? Well, I'm not in Kansas anymore. I do love the open country, but I still like to get to New York City and take in some shows. And you're enjoying your new career in real estate? I love real estate. I tell everyone, go buy a house. There's simply no place like home. All right, so back to our question. Glinda, can you name one of the top six methods that realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes? I can, Lauren. The answer is video. Video is one of the keys to getting the most attention for a listing. And we always use Technicolor video. Okay, and the survey says? <laughs> Absolutely correct. Video is one of the keys to getting properties noticed, and getting them noticed is another step toward getting them sold. You know, Lauren, our team always creates a video that we share on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and other social media sites. It's also how I stay in touch with all the little people in my life. Sorry, Tink. Sometimes we even do full drone tours of a property. It's almost like flying gently around the house in a bubble. Our videos are stunning, and video is one of the hottest marketing methods in real estate today. Since Linda got the steal, we'll move on to our next contestant on Team Gold Coats. Elsa, you don't really need an introduction but I'm surprised to see you here on behalf of Century 21 Real Estate. Oh, Lauren, you know that Century 21 has over 110,000 realtors in thousands and thousands of offices in 77 countries around the world. And we've now struck a deal to open Century 21 in the Scandinavian kingdom of Arendelle. The beautiful gold posts are as majestic as my kingdom. And you really like the Century 21 brand? Of course I like the Century 21 brand. In my kingdom of Arendelle, we built snowmen that wear gold coats. I specifically put Olaf in charge. We could build a snowman if you'd like after the show. Would you like to build a snowman? It won't take very long. We could build a snowman and put gold coats on. For those of you who don't know, Olaf is a talking snowman. We even have our own slogan in Arendelle. Century 21 cares about our clients. They're worth melting for. Elsa, <laughs> you should just go home. You're depriving your village of an idiot. <laughs> Elsa, just ignore her. Your slogan is very nice. So back to our question, can you name one of the top six methods? We need to identify likely buyers for our listings. So we build unique property websites and then use the profile building tools of both Facebook and Google Remarketer to identify likely buyers moving into the area or moving up into a larger castle or just starting out and push those homes right into the news feeds and screens of these likely buyers. So I would say the answer is unique property websites with targeted marketing campaigns. Well, that sounds very high tech. Let's see what our survey says. And you are correct. In fact, Facebook creates profiles on everyone using their service, which allows marketing teams to help accurately predict who might buy a home like the one being sold, what school districts they prefer, their price range, and then push that home in front of them. That's a really advanced technique being used by Century 21 Real Estate. Yes! Can it, sister! 
Bellatrix, please keep quiet. It's not your turn. And I don't like the way you're looking at Tink. I'm hungry. <laughs> Maybe sprinkle her with a little fairy dust. Mm -hmm. Or I could hang her on my wall. Or take her home for the cat to play with. My cat would love to play with her. <laughs> That muggle Lauren will make a good sacrifice for the Dark Lord. Yes! <laughs> Don't worry, Tink. You're under my protection. Thank you, Glinda. Bellatrex, are you one of the first people in your family to be born without a tail? Careful, you might become a missing person! <laughs> You should really do some serious soul searching. You may just find one. <laughs> How rude! Simmer down now. First of all, no one is eating Tink. Secondly, we need to get on with the show. So next up is a true superhero. I present Supergirl. So Supergirl, I have to tell you, I am one of your biggest fans. I understand you're selling real estate now. Yes, when I'm not off saving the planet, I'm saving home buyers from some of the junk fees our competitors charge. You know, junk fees are really my kryptonite. Didn't you used to be a reporter? I was. But I was getting tired of being forced to create fake news. Now I fight for truth, justice, and great mortgage rates. A noble calling. Now back to the board. Can you name one of the top six methods? Absolutely. One of the techniques we've used to generate activity is to pre-market a home and have a big open house. For the right property, this creates an auction-like effect when all the buyers come at once. So I would answer open house. I wish we could do open houses in Arendelle. My clients say it's just too cold. That's why I never visit, Elsa. I don't wear pants. You should really try wearing pants, my dear. And yeah, the survey says... Turns out you're both correct. Open houses in a strong market can help attract attention and create pressure to get a seller the highest price possible, but they don't work everywhere. A home seller is going to have to ask their Century 21 agent if open houses are right for their situation. And next up, who could forget my good friend Kira Knightley? So you're dressed up as a pirate today? Yes, I am. This week we're filming Pirates of the Caribbean 16, The Search for More Disney Profit, Apparently, they're not making enough from Star Wars and Avengers, and I need to get back into character. I've been practicing swinging a sword, dancing on barrels, and saying things like, I, a vast ye matey, and dead man tell no tales. That's great, but isn't Captain Jack getting just a little old to be making Pirates of the Caribbean movies? I resent that, mate. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, I've really missed you. I wish I wouldn't have missed you the last time I took a shot at you with my pistol. Ah, behind every angry woman is a man who has no idea what he did wrong. You're a drunk, two-timing, womanizing scoundrel. And you're a pirate. I admit it, you can't get enough of me. This is all an act. But Kira, what about that picture you have of him next to your bed? I do keep your picture next to my bed. I use it to scare my sister. You can never beat me, darling. You fight like a girl. Hmm. Ah, and who's this lovely lass? You know I'm a girl of steel and I could break you in two, right? Pirates. It's always freaking sweaty hammock monkey pirates. What What are you? I'm a fairy. I don't believe in fairies. I think you're a clump, complex Freudian hallucination having something to do with my mother. And I don't know why you have wings, but you have very lovely legs. And you seem like a very nice tiny person. I am a fairy, and I'm not a fan of pirates. Wait, it's coming back to me now. That drunk in the bar talked about you. Captain Hook. Your hooks, little friend. How dare you! I am no friend of that one-handed, black-hearted, addle-brained, scurvy, slime-eating sack of dog poo! So you're saying you never hooked up with Hook? Well, Jack, while well, it's good to see you, the episode with the gentleman, and I use that term loosely, was last week. This is an all-female version of Real Estate Family Feud. Fine, I'll be right back. Could you hold this for me, darling? Bourbon? Bourbon? 
This is pure rum. No self-respecting pirate drinks bourbon. Have you ever met a self-respecting pirate? Nope. Arr. I apologize. Back to you, Kira. Can you name one of the remaining methods? When my directors want a movie to work, they spend a lot of time building the scenes, setting the stage. If we're selling a home, we need to stage that just as carefully. Stage the home well and take great photos. Home staging as a marketing technique, Kira? Are you sure? Absolutely, Lauren. You might put $50 in paint into freshening up your house, and that might get you thousands more in profit when you sell. And don't shoot photos with a cell phone. Realtors need to take great photos when listing a property to make them stand out. Well, let's see what the board says. Home staging with great photos. And you are correct, Kira. Oh, Jack, who are you supposed to be? Jack? Who's Jack? For God's sake, Jack, I hope you're wearing underwear. I don't know, Jack. I'm the world famous Marilyn Monroe. Well, Jack, I am so glad you didn't wear that tilted kilt skirt you did at our last party. To be fair, that was one time and I was drunk. You're always drunk, Jack. Go home. Sorry, Jack, but you are not playing in this episode. Now, back to our first contestant with the gold coats. Wait a minute, I didn't get any questions, mate. No questions for you, Jack. <laughs> Linda, you have four correct answers out of six and no strikes on the board. So again, can you name one of the top six methods that realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes? Why don't we go back to the basics, Lauren? We need to make sure other realtors are aware of each home for sale. At Century 21 Kime, we actually can put our listings on up to seven MLS systems rather than just one like many companies. I'm going to go with MLS as the answer. Just follow the MLS digital brick road. Follow, 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 follow all seven MLS systems. Well, let's see what the survey says. And you are correct. Even though most consumers shop for homes on the internet, they still call someone they know in the real estate business to help them select the right homes to see. We need to make sure a home seller's property is exposed to the maximum number of home buyers and also to the most realtors that we can. And Glinda, I love the idea that you can put listings into regional MLS systems instead of just the local ones. Now back to you, Elsa. Hold on, I have a text message coming in on my ice phone. Can you tell us what the final correct answer is? This is tough, Lauren. It wasn't yard signs, and it wasn't print advertising. What about television? Everyone loves television. Well, let's see what our survey says. <coughs> I'm sorry, Elsa. It was a great answer, but again, people like to search for homes at their leisure, and sitting watching homes scroll on television just isn't one of the top methods. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Wrong answers don't bother me anyway. Okay, Supergirl, your team has only one strike against you. Can you give me the final correct answer to the question, name the top six methods realtors use to market and sell their clients' homes? I think I can, Lauren. And Elsa just showed it to us. Is it mobile-friendly online marketing? The place where most people look for homes these days is on their cell phones and their iPads. In fact, we're getting more business from that than anything else. So we need to format our ads to fit each of these devices. Well, let's check. Yes, yes it is. And you mentioned that mobile-friendly online marketing has to format to each person's individual device. Yes. Our exclusive Zap Home Search at zaphomesearch.com actually downloads the entire MLS every two minutes and converts it into a viewable format for every major digital device so anyone can see listings easily from their phones, iPads, or whatever they carry. And let's congratulate the winning team. and the gold coats win again.
And viewers, each of our contestants is ready to assist you with all your real estate needs. Century 21 Kime is headquartered right here in Eastern Pennsylvania, serving Eastern PA in New Jersey. But with 110,000 Century 21 brokers and agents worldwide, we're the local company with international connections. And of course, Century 21 has been the most recognized brand in real estate for decades. Check out every home for sale at www.zaphomesearch.com or you might want to join us in a future edition of Real Estate Family Feud. You can apply to be a real estate professional with Century 21 Kime at www.c21keim.com. Thanks again for joining us today. Bye. I think I see a floating house. <laughs> Good answer! There's no place like home, especially if you buy it through Century 21 Kind. I think we should have this plane in the office. I don't care what they might say. Wrong answers don't bother me anyway. Winter is coming and so is the army of the dead. Gold goods, we will meet again. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna make it even harder. Switch the flame to hand. I like to sing time after time. Girls just wanna have fun. You know, girls just wanna have fun. I don't know. You guys are right here right now. It smells right. like alcohol everywhere right now. <laughs> Take the bottle. Yeah, enough, enough of that rum, you know? All right, I'm just going to open it for real. <laughs> <laughs> Behind every guy you're going. <laughs> so you're saying you never hooked up with her? How dare you! I am no friend of that one-handed, black-hearted, addle-brained, scurvy, slime-eating, slack dog food. <laughs> <laughs> this? Yeah. Danny, Danny. <laughs> Danny, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. I'm doing the robot. I don't know how to do that. I can do Axl Rose, though. <laughs> Jack? Who's Jack? I don't know this Jack person. I'm the world famous Marilyn Monroe. Oh! <laughs> Wait, like the movie? Yeah. Slightly, like this. Got enough? I'm scarred for life.